Some folks consider this to be a pocket rocket, while other folks consider this to be a pocket rocket. But this is my pocket rocket, and we gonna send it. Send it. If you like John Boats, Mud Motors, and things that just make you wanna yell, yeah, yeah then you've come to the right place, partner. If you're new to the channel, make sure you go right down here, hit that subscribe button and the little bell thingy right next to it so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. New boat project in the house. Whoop, whoop. So this is my pocket rocket. There are many like it, but this one is mine. All right, enough screwing around. Let's talk business. We gotta find out what the plans are for Project Pocket Rocket. So our goal for the Project Pocket Rocket build is to make this the fastest long tail mud motor powered 10 foot John boat in the United States of America and possibly the interweb. Yee yee! Now I did not purchase Project Pocket Rocket. It was actually donated to the channel by these guys right here. Freedom Line Products, the guys that make Freedom Loop. They donated this boat to us so that we could build it up, make it super cool, and show it to you guys here on the Send It John Boat YouTube channel. If it weren't for these guys, Project Pocket Rocket wouldn't even exist because I had no intentions of building a 10-foot John Boat. Freedom Lube is also one of our channel sponsors and they've given us a discount coupon code to use. We have it in the bottom down here in the description section of every single one of our videos. So if you have any kind of needs for lubrication, not that kind of lube, sicko. They've got cleaners, lubricants, protect it. They've got a white form. They've got this really cool pen applicator. They got all kinds of really cool stuff. Make sure you check them out down in the description box below and let them know. Thank you very much for donating the project boat for Send It John Boats. Oh, and don't forget about the coupon code. Like, it's 10% off. Who, does, who doesn't love saving money? Duh. So long tail mud motors aren't exactly built to be speed demons. That's why you never saw old Dale here cruising around the track at Talladega with an 18 horsepower brig strapped on the front of his car. And most of the guys in the mud motor world will tell you if you want to go fast on a mud boat, you've got to use a short tail. Now I'm not here to agree, disagree, or dispute that fact, but what I am here to do is try something different. And by different, I mean like really really different. So after a lot of very careful thought and consideration, I have decided that Project Pocket Rocket will be powered by a Harley Davidson motor. Um, excuse me, did he just say Harley motor? I sure did. A big old twin cam thumping, roaring Harley Davidson V-twin. That's what's going on this bad boy right here. It was several years ago, Beaver Tail and I think it was Backwater Mud Motors got together and they came out with what they called the Predator. It was a Harley Davidson powered long tail. So they quit making them. I think it was some kind of legal thing. I'm not really sure what the whole story is, but for the last several years, I have seen tons and tons and tons of forum posts on all different kind of mud motor forums with people talking about using Harley motors or motorcycle motors for a either long tail or short tail build and nobody ever follows through with it. And I completely get why, like it's not gonna be easy at all. We've got to figure out how to get the starter off of the primary and actually onto the motor. There's gonna be a ton of work involved, but I'm definitely up for the challenge. I wanna document every step along the way and show you guys the process. Because if I don't do it, ain't nobody else gonna do it. Everybody's just gonna keep on talking about it and nobody's gonna actually do it. So just leave it to the crazy Cajun redneck guy with the Jumbo channel. He'll do it. Before we go full send with this Harley motor pocket rocket death machine and I either kill myself or snap the boat in half, I want to do some speed testing with some regular long tail motor setups 
while we've got a plain John boat with no decking in it, no, none of that kind of stuff. So we're gonna run some speed testing with like a 212 Predator, probably a 420 Predator, maybe a GX390 Honda motor, just so we can get some baseline numbers and see what kind of speeds we get with those setups. I'm also gonna attempt to do the V-Twin Predator 670 motor on it as well, just to see what kind of speeds we get out of it, because that's only a 22 horsepower motor and the Harleys are like 60, 70, 80-ish range, somewhere in there, depending on which one you pick. And I am not planning on leaving this Harley motor stock. It is probably going to go stage two or three or beyond. Yeah, I'm, I'm going full send. But with this being such a small boat, I am going to have to build some custom float pods to make this thing a little bit wider and more stable so that it can hold that much weight on the back of the boat because Harley motors are not light by any means. So some of the other things we're going to have to work on with this boat is going to be the transoms. That's going to be top priority. These little tracker topper tins are rated for like teeny tiny little motors and it's only got like one sheet of plywood going all the way across the back. And then on the outside of the transom skin, it's got like this one little small section of plywood screwed into it. So it's probably not even like a full three quarter inch thick with both pieces of plywood. So not even going to risk it. We're going to go ahead and beef up the transom like to the max because Harley Motors got some torque. So this boat doesn't have a whole lot of modifications and accessories done to it, which is a good thing. We're kind of starting from bare bones. The only thing on it that it's got right now is just some LED lights on the front. If you put some chrome stickers on the side along with the LED lights, it would probably add like nine horsepower, but I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those LED lights and get some new ones. Also probably going to do some modifications to the bent seats. I'm probably not going to take them completely out. I'm probably going to build like little storage areas around them. Now we're not going full retard bass boat on this thing. There's enough freaking fast boat builds on YouTube already. This is going to be a one person speed demon death machine. That's all this is. No bass boats. So I may put a couple of little hatches in there just to be able to get to the gas tank and battery and stuff, but we're not going to put in like a deep stow hatch and a morning hatch and a day hatch and an afternoon hatch and a shallow stow hatch and a lunch hatch and a cooler hatch and a soft plastic hatch. None of that garbage. It's just going to be one person, the boat, and probably some underwear with stains in it because this is going to be like Really, really crazy. Another thing we're going to have to work on is the trailer. I don't know what Jim Bob Redneck welded this thing together, but I think it was originally a like a jet ski trailer or something, and they just welded on a whole bunch of crap onto it and then painted it green. It's got teeny tiny little tires, but it's got these lifted springs on it, so the, <laughs> the whole thing sits up off the ground like really high. And then it's got these cheap pieces of angled iron on the side welded in, but then the front tongue is like this big around. I have this... I don't know. This thing looks ridiculous. So we'll have a whole rebuild video on the trailer as well because it's bad. And of course, I can't build a boat without some crazy custom paint jobs. So I'm going to leave that one a mystery and you guys see that on the paint video. <laughs> but it's going to be awesome. I think you guys are really going to like what I've got in store for Project Pocket Rocket. Thanks to everyone for watching today's video. We're going to roll those bloopers for you here in just a second. But first, let us always remember, money can't buy happiness, but it can buy you a boat. Bye, guys. Let's see if I can get in this thing without killing myself. Woo, that's sketchy. <laughs> That'd be really sad if I died before I even get this thing out on the water. And of course, I can't build a build. I can't build a boat. I can't build a boat. I'm sorry. Okay, we got in. Now I gotta get out and not die. Probably should have like tied this thing down first. The Harley Davidson powdered, uh, powdered. The Harley Davidson powdered. Okay, I think that's everything I gotta film out here. Oh my God, it's so cold. I gotta, I gotta go in the shop and get warm before uh, my mangina gets frostbite. Me no likey cold. <laughs>